I would like to give a shout out to Caressa Midnight for sending me this story. And I actually saw it on my timeline on Twitter um, yesterday. And it doesn't surprise me that this uh, came out, but I'm glad that it did. Um, what you're looking at on your screen was the official document that the FBI drew up when they created that whole uh, black identity extremist thing. And what I find interesting is if you look at the date, it says August 3rd, 2017. So it's been a, a little over two years since they drew up this little document. And if you remember in that same month, literally maybe a week or two later, the whole thing in Charlottesville occurred. Now, it's amazing that they drew all black identity extremists two weeks before that whole thing with Charlottesville happened and black people have yet to do anything on that scale. But when that happened in Charlottesville, they didn't drop a white identity extremist one. I mean, there's always a reason for that. I mean, it's a dumb reason why they're not going to do it. If they even have a reason for it at all of why they didn't do it. But there was a document uh, that was, it says the uh, FBI documents got leaked. And the people over at the Young Turks managed to get a hold of it. Now, I'm not going to read for you the entire document because it's pretty lengthy. And I wouldn't read something like that on here because they might try to flag my uh, video or even flag the whole channel down for reading something like that. But I'm going to read the article and it's going to put it has some things in there that's like pieces from the art from the document in there. Like what I'm about to read to you in the title. It says. FBI ranks black black identity extremists bigger threat than Al Qaeda and white supremacists. So they have given this fake title because it got exposed for being a fake title. I uh, forgot the woman's name, but she grilled this uh this palm colored individual over at Congress about it or wherever they were at. And they basically she basically forced it out of them that black identity extremist was not a real thing. That was just something that they decided to come up with. But they literally said black identity extremists, that title is a bigger threat than Al Qaeda, which is an actual terrorist organization. And they put us above white supremacists. That's how high they ranked us. This was in the leak. Sorry about that for popping up on my screen. But um, that was that is exactly what was in this leak that the Young Turks got a hold of. And it was from 2018, so it was last year. Now, let me go ahead and read this article. Leaked FBI documents indicate that, quote unquote, black identity extremists and animal rights activists are among the agency's top counterterrorism priorities under 45. The FBI's priority list documents obtained by the Young Turks Thursday lay out the Bureau's 2018 fiscal year focal points in counterterrorism, cybercrime and counterintelligence. The 2018-2019 threat guidance documents describe black identity extremists as those who use force or violence in violation of criminal law in response to perceived racism and injustice in American society. Literally what they're trying to do with that title is put us like it says in the title of this article above white supremacists as if we are the threat as if we are the ones that are causing them to do this as if we are the ones that's imposing on their lives that's what they're trying to say that's what they're implying what it is crazy like uh like uh how back then they, even back then they even try to make us seem like we was an issue We've always been an issue. I forgot who it was back then, but they said they need to try to do something to uh, uh, mellow out the black problem. They see us as a problem and always have seen us as an issue. And, and it's like they keep trying to get rid of us, but they just can't find a way to do it. And notice who else they also put up there. Animal rights groups. They put animal rights groups above white supremacists and Al Qaeda. It says the files claim some BIEs acted in hopes of establishing a separate black homeland or autonomous black social institutions, communities or governing organizations within the USA. Isn't that what Palm Colored has been trying to do for decades? But they're not going to call them white identity extremists. 
An internal FBI report from August 2017 was widely criticized for using the BIE label, which many called racist. But the Consolidated Strategy Guide documents leaked this week show the FBI kept the term and made BIEs one of its top counterterrorism priorities. So that means that they are literally they literally have been watching us under a scope for a very long time. I forgot who it was, but I think they said they captured one person under that whole BIE thing, but it wasn't nothing to stand on. So I think they ended up letting him go after he spent maybe a couple days in jail or a couple months or something like that. It was stupid. Animal rights slash environmental extremists and anti-authority extremists were also deemed top exist existing threats. Still again, white supremacists are nowhere to be found. Under a cryptic strategy titled Iron Fist, the leaked documents suggest the Bureau plans to use infiltration and other undercover techniques to mitigate threats posed by black extremist groups, including exploiting the felony status of some members. Let me read that again. Under a cryptic strategy titled Iron Fist, the leaked documents suggest the Bureau plans to use infiltration and other undercover techniques to mitigate threats posed by black extremist groups, including exploiting the felony status of some members. The key word there is infiltrate. That is nothing new. They did that way back in the day with a lot of the black groups back then. Most famously, the Black Panther Party. That's the same strategy they used. Every time black people came together and tried to do something to get ahead, they'll always inf they'll always infiltrate or they'll use an agent that looks like us to get in and destroy whatever is being created. And see, they have the title of black identity extremists because to make it seem like we are just these savages. And, you know, they ran with that narrative with so uh, for so long. And they have basically the, the people they're trying to convince are the people on the outside. They ain't convincing nobody in here. Other language labels black extremists as racist themselves, likely to target civilian and government entities that are perceived as oppressors, including but not limited to law enforcement officers, the U.S. government, members of the rival BSE or the black supremacist extremist. Groups and individuals based on race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, and, and religion read one section called Key Domain Entries Entities. Now, reading all of that, doesn't that sound like what a lot of these palm color groups already have been doing for a while now, whether they are in a group or acting as in an as an individual? Like they're literally trying to switch us. They're true that they're literally trying to put it into a category where we are the oppressors. And white people are oppressed. See, who would have thought them saying that reverse racism for so long until they ran it into the ground would actually lead to something like this? The documents show the FBI wrongly projected there would be attrition and declining membership within white supremacists and nationalist extremist movements over the past years. Basically, it has increased. And they again lied saying that it decreased. It only went higher. And we know why that is. It pretty much is due to the one over there in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And in reference to white supremacy, the documents read some RMVEs or racially motivated violent extremists are driven by a belief in the superiority of the white race and perception that the U.S. government is conspiring with Jews and minority populations to bring about the race's demise. The 2020 threat got its document state. The FBI has also begun using racially motivated extremism as a watered down label for white nationalist groups. In the documents leaked to the Young Turks, the FBI sought to lower the threat impact by BIEs and identify who was recruiting or facilitating for such groups in the U.S. I don't think anybody has come and knocked on my door and asked me if I wanted to be a part of any group. So it's like if you even speak out in the benefit of your people, you're labeled as an extremist. Not because you went out there and committed a mass shooting, not because you went out there and murdered a bunch of people, not because you're going out there causing chaos, because we're spreading a message to our people. That's what makes us extremist. 
The FBI judges some RMVE perceptions of police brutality against African Americans served as justification for premeditated retaliatory violence against law enforcement in 2016. Now listen, now now that is very interesting. So basically what they're saying is that the reason why black people have been getting, you know, dealt with by law enforcement, they found in their in their eyes justification for it because they fall under this bie label un, under this bie label let me read it again the fbi judges some rmve perception of police brutality against african americans served as justification for premeditated retaliatory violence against law enforcement in 2016. so basically they just said it right there they want to get something started that's what that's their end game right there to start to kick something off. And that's the entire article right there. I'm glad this uh, came out and see, like I said, this was just a piece of it. This isn't the entire leaked document. This is just what uh, the summary of what was in it. Now, if you was able to get a hold of the actual leaked documents, then you'll see everything that they said. This is about as just as worse as that Sony leaked that email that came out a couple years ago. If y'all remember that, they leaked a lot of stuff in that Sony email too. Like that was a big scandal when that happened. But I'm not shocked, no surprise that this was in there, but it does answer a lot of questions. And you know that many of us had concerning this uh, situation that we are currently in right now. Like they had basically what they did with the whole BIE thing is they created an imaginary boogeyman and they had to find a reason as to why um, black people the way they are. Then, you know, they link up with lamestream media and they put these images out there. You, you just heard Tucker Carlson going to come out and say that white supremacy is a hoax by him saying that in them not putting white supremacist groups on these lists like this <clears throat> or they are on the list, but they're lower down on the list is making it seem like we are the biggest threat in America. And that's the way that they want it. After all these years of saying reverse racism, after all these years of saying 13% of the population but commit all of this crime and black on black crime and this and black and black crime in this Chicago, this Chicago, that it's led up to this right here. Their rhetoric and propaganda led to one of their biggest propaganda pieces yet which is the black identity extremist, which is not real. And notice that they don't have a white identity extremist. They purposely left that out for a reason, even though with all these mass shootings that continue to happen, they, they shoot themselves in the foot every time. See, they're just banking on something to pop off involving a black person that exceeds just your regular maybe drive by shooting or robbery or anything like that. They want a black person to commit something like what has happened in the last week. Just one is all they will need to try to back this up. Because, you know, they give so many examples and they still won't call them terrorists. We give one example. Oh, black identity extremists. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.